Hi beautifuls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, hi, hey, welcome. I am Finn and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I tint my eyebrows at home. And I was going to do this day anyway, but basically I just thought, you know, lockdown's trying to make us all ugly. So, let's DIY. First thing, disclaimer, this is the way that I do it. I'm not telling you guys to go out and do it this way. I'm not telling you guys that the way I do it is right. This is the way that I do it. And I've not had any adverse reactions. That's not to say that you won't though. So I recommend a patch test, especially a patch test because this is going on your face. That's really important. It's near your eyes. That's a really, really important organ. So you don't really want to, you don't really want to f*** it up. First thing you're going to need is some Just For Men hair dye and I have mine in the shade Dark. You can also use beard dye. I've found that the hair dye actually works exactly the same and a lot of men use the hair dye on their eyebrows anyway. So next thing you're going to need is a an eyebrow brush. I use the Real Techniques brow brush. Um, I love this brush and it's really really thin and fine at the end so I recommend this one. You're going to need a mirror or a palette with a mirror in it and then you're going to need a clean spoolie. If you don't have a clean one I'll show you how to clean these really quickly. So the first thing you're going to do is put your hair up and out of your face. You don't want that getting into the dye so I'm just going to tuck those bits behind. And then we can get cracking. So my spoolie is actually a makeup one, it's not very clean at all. So I'm just going to get a baby wipe and I'm going to literally brush it off and see how much I can get off of that. So yeah, you're going to want to clean your face, which I've already done, and apply a moisturiser, but stop your moisturiser when you get to your eyes because you'd want this bit to be nice and dry and free of any dust, debris, skin cells, that. Just get rid of it. We don't want it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our men's hair dye <laughs> and if you've not used this before and I say do a patch test I literally mean grab a little bit with your finger pop it behind your ear like a normal hair dye make sure that after 24 hours that you're not in pain and it's not burning you if it starts burning you take it off straight away and consult your GP okay so these are my monstrosities right now look at those go I'm gonna brush them through with my spoolie and just I just have such, this chunk here, I don't understand why I have a massive bit missing, but that's okay, we're going to fix it. So that's my eyebrow outside, brush through this one. So then I'm going to get my men's beard dye and I'm literally going to pick up a tiny little bit, like that. So we have a little bit of product on there and I'm going to fill in my eyebrow the way that I normally would, but I'm going to ignore the fluffy bit here. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because we will clean it up straight after. Okay, so that one's done. Now I'm going to get the excess off of my brush. I'll just pop it on my hand for a sec. And now I'm going to go in and fill in the fluffy bit. And I do this because then it gives it a more like a feathered look. So you don't look like you've got a massive blocked eyebrow. Cool. As you, if you can see, I've got a tiny little bit here that I really want to clean up. That will do, Donkey. Right, put that on there. Okay guys, so that's what we're left with at the moment. It looks very, very dark, very blocky. It will promise you, I promise you, it will not stay like that. I'm going to leave this on my face for about 10 minutes, in between 5 and 10 anyway. And then I will come back to you guys and we will wash it off for a final reveal. A few inches later. Okay lovelies, so it's been on my face for about 8 minutes now. I'm going to go and wash it off. Um, the way that I do it is I get a flannel or a tiny bit of cloth and I will rinse it with warm water. Not hot, not cold, warm water and I will just brush it off of my face. So that's what I'm going to go do now and then I'll be right back and we can see exactly what it's done and whether it's achieved anything, which I hope that it has because it usually does. <laughs> Okay lovelies, so I am all done. My eyebrows are tinted, they are a lot darker than what they were before and to be honest I don't need to fill them in today. So I am happy. Um, this normally lasts me about a week. 
I normally do it like every fortnight just because I get so used to filling them in anyway that I sort of forget but I do prefer the way that they look and it didn't take that long so I really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to hit that like button maybe hit the sub button if you want to see or hear more from me and hit that bell notification so that you're notified next time that I post anything I really hope that you have a fantastic day evening or weekend depending on wherever you are in the world and I really hope to see you again in the next one love you bye Thank you.